Hello, Melissa Rodriguez here. Super excited to connect with you all. And welcome, Anthea. Thank you so much for joining me today. How are you? Hi, Melissa. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Really, really well. Yourself? Awesome. So blessed. So excited for this opportunity to come together. And, you know, we're here to empower everyone for 2021. And that is so exciting to me. I'm excited to me too. It's super exciting because it's something we're both passionate about and we just love talking about. So um, coming up with this idea to do um, a live, well, we tried to do a live, didn't quite work. So here we are um, on a Zoom recording, but yeah, super excited as well uh, just to share what we've got and give everybody some good little bit of knowledge and what can hopefully just be something we can implement and help change your life too. Yeah, so powerful because <laughs> I know from talking to you that, you know, it's made such a huge difference in your experience of life and it's completely changed my experience of life as well. So super passionate talking about the law of attraction teachings and how to break through with the law of attraction teachings. What a powerful thought to be able to share that knowledge with everyone um, and just, you know, being able to adjust our sales and go with the flow and, and go on a recording instead. Um, so let's get started. Let's do it. I'm excited. Let's go. <laughs> All right. We're going to be sharing some screens here, breaking through with the law of attraction, and I'll let you take it away here. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of read from what we've got here. I've created this um, presentation just uh, so really, well, like Melissa just said, all about the law of attraction. These are exciting new live events um, that present endless opportunities and possibilities of how you can align with the law of attraction and shape the future for a better version of you. And this is what it's all about. So this is why we're both so excited. So we will be doing these live events. Um, I know today's not live, but we will be doing live events um, probably monthly and um, we'll be giving you the opportunity and ourselves the opportunity to be able to connect and take it into, uh, let's say, let's, into a, a deeper dive into the law of attraction. Um, so today's discussion, we're going to be covering what is the law of attraction and the benefits of aligning with the law of attraction. Um, understanding the law of attraction. I think I might have just said that twice. But anyway, <laughs> um, three tips to help you align with your dreams and desires. That's the exciting part. Yes. Um, yeah, isn't it just? <laughs> and uh, practice. So we'll be going through practicing our thoughts um, <clears throat> and just like belief clearing. So we we originally it was just like think, believe and receive. And then when I went to, when we went to, onto the belief side of things, I thought, well, one of the things people struggle with is actually the subconscious beliefs that we hold. So we thought of a really good one that we can like take you through and help you in any place in your life that you feel that's not really working out and you can implement the step, which is really cool. Um, and then we're gonna be receiving. Um, so yeah, we'll take you through the three, three steps. So, yes. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. So fun to receive. And the whole process really is so fun and life changing. Absolutely. Absolutely. So would you like me to tell my, a bit about myself? Yes. Lovely. And then uh, you can say, I mean, I know that you, we can, uh, yeah. If I, okay. I'll say a little bit about myself and then I'll let it go over to you, my lovely. <laughs> So um, um, law of attraction practitioner, um, I'm a belief clearing practitioner certified by Joe, Dr. Joe Vitao and Dr. Steve G. Jones. I'm also a law of attraction wealth practitioner, again, certified by the two people I just mentioned. Um, I'm also a mindset coach. I'm also an author of a few books and um, a speaker and now a content creator too, which didn't really think was going to be part of my uh, experience but this is the the beauty of uh, being able to align with the law of attraction and the opportunities that come around 
Um, so yes, here we are, and that's me really. So over to you, my lovely Melissa. How beautiful. And I had the pleasure and privilege of going through one of your um, belief courses and so powerful. I was able to release beliefs that were, you know, keeping me from reaching that next step and the power of feeling that release when you're trying to do something or there's something you desire and there's there's something standing in your way. You can feel it and being able to identify what that is and move through it and past it so powerful isn't it just it, and it's all about showing up more empowered in our lives to follow our dreams to you know see our visions for our life and be able to go after those visions with ease and flow um what a beautiful gift so so blessed to have connected with you i'm going to share a little story of how anthea and i connected I was looking for someone to play with in this law of attraction fun and put my request to the divine that I could connect with someone to have fun and share the passion I have with the law of attraction teachings and go forward and share that with others and happen to receive a message from you and how exciting. So here we are. Um, and you know, it works for the little and big things. And sometimes it happens so fast when you're believing in that way, you put your requests and you just let it, let it go and you get this message, you know, so, so exciting. Um, I'm a mom of three. I'm also, um, the founder of the law of attraction and the secret group now at 175,000 members. Um, yeah, super exciting. And in the process of um, creating Becoming Abundantly You and um, just created my first starter course. Super excited about that. Um, and a new author last year wrote my first book. So super excited about that as well. Ooh, love yeah. It. yeah. I, I, love I it. 17 years ago went from feeling so broken to so blessed by discovering the law of attraction teachings and applying them in my life and just seeing everything transform. The biggest gift for me was the way I felt. It changed the way I felt about life. And that was the biggest blessing and gift. Seeing my dreams come true one after one, amazing, so fun. But so fun. It's, it's for me, it was so much deeper. It was about changing the way I exist and experience living life. and. What a blessing and gift that is, you know, to be able to share with everyone. So, um, yeah, that's me. We're super excited to share what we've learned so far and connect with everyone out here. And I'm going to say that is the exciting part, isn't it, Melissa? Because when you're going through, you feel like when you're going through something that is seems so bad at the time and you feel like you're stuck you can't get past something um that you know what is life really about why me all these kind of questions and you just don't know which way to turn and then you come across something like the law of attraction and then it kind of all falls into place mentally and emotionally right and then you can start seeing like that little bit of light at the end of the tunnel um, and you can't quite see it, but you can just about get a glimpse of what's happening. And the more you focus on and learn about who we are as people, um, uh, and we say like, you know, we're energy beings, and you can literally, like you said, you ask for something and it becomes this from struggling to be able to receive, to be able to actually just have this manifestation after manifestation yes. like this, right? Because yeah. like myself, when Melissa had asked, I had actually asked for the same. I just wanted someone that was like-minded like myself, had the energy like myself, had the enthusiasm and passion. And um, and I don't, you know, something said to me, some, I don't even know how it felt. I mean, what it was at the time, but I was drawn to Melissa. And, you know, she's like a little needle in a haystack that yeah. really <laughs> think about it, right? And I didn't ever think I'd get a response. I didn't think that, you know, I didn't think we will be here today. And it's only been a few months, mm. if a few months. But the way we've experienced our experience together 
has been absolutely profound and really shown us, hasn't it? It's really shown us how things just unfold with such ease and flow Mm -hmm. once you feel the power of you. And um, I love, yeah, and I love what you're saying about the course. It's like you go, you know, we hide away from really what is our fears? What is, you know, what's our struggles? And, you know, what does hold us back? And unless we sit down and really think about these things, we kind of blase go through life and not really grasp things. Mm. Um, So, yeah, thank you for sharing that story of your experience of the course. And uh, because... Yeah, you know, it changed my life too. Yeah. Just while I put while it was being put together, I was answering my own questions. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And, yeah. And it's amazing how you just see this different flow happening and it feels really good. So I'm just excited. Yeah, so excited. It's so amazing to get into that creative flow and share our growth through our offerings. You know, I always say reaching next levels requires next level growth. And when we transform from within, it's lasting and it's life changing, you know? Yeah, it's about becoming more of who we desire to be and really stepping into our power in our lives instead of sleepwalking through life and just going through the motions, you know, just waking up, yeah, to your power and your um, potential and, the ability to co-create your life experiences. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So what is the law of attraction? So I know you guys um, who are probably watching this probably know about the law of attraction already, but we thought it'd be a really good idea just to give a little bit of a breakdown. Um, so simply put, the law of attraction says that you will, that you will attract into your life whatever you focus on. Um, whatever you give your energy and attention to will come back to you. So if you stay focused on the good and the positive things in your life, you will automatically attract good and positive things into your life. And um, I, know, I know I've heard, you know, I know when I first started understanding the law of attraction, it, it's not as straightforward as that, but it is, it becomes as straightforward as that. As Melissa yeah. just says, you grow into it and you start to be able to, come away from focusing on things that don't feel good and shift your attention over to the things that do feel good and you can be thankful for. And the more we give our attention to something, the more it comes back to us. So, you know, if I'm constantly thinking, oh, um, why is everything so bad for me in my life? That's a confirmation. And I'm, and the, and the energy I'm giving out by saying that brings more bad to my life but if I can switch that around and give it into um wow look something went really well for me today and tell that story of what went really well and keep focusing on the things that go well and tell the story of the things that go well then you start getting that back and then you can't help but speak about the things that are working out because you shifted an energy it's all about you know, our vibration, we're vibrational beings. So mm. we're constantly giving out energy, right? Mm-hmm. It's about just bringing that back to us and constantly be able to attract back that good feeling. Um, and we'll take you through the steps anyway. Yes, yes. So perfect and so true. It reminds me of 17 years ago, I was constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, okay, what else is going to happen now? And that's what I was expecting. So that's what I was receiving. You know, the power of expectation and what we're thinking and focusing on is so real. Absolutely. Isn't it just? Mm-hmm. Isn't it just? So we're going to have three tips we'll share with you. And there's a little bit on the, the, the like focus, the wishing, the wealth, anything you want. And uh, yes, we do have a little story to tell that we wanted just to give you for the just um, even though we've given you a couple of stories so far, so it would be really good to just give you some two specifics that we'd spoken about previously and thought would be a brilliant idea to share. Um, just so you can kind of, you know, hear from our side, the shift that has actually taken place by, by shifting our focus. So I think the first story would be, am I right to say, would be a story of 
and it's here. <laughs> Thoughts, emotions, and self-belief. So how we have benefited from the law of attraction teachings. Um, so create this little presentation and my hair was blonde, but because um, <laughs> I, I can't get to a hairdresser, it's now turned and brown. So I thought I'd have a little blondie there. <laughs> <laughs> So um, my little story here is it was only six years ago I was actually homeless with two wow. children. I was completely wow. had nowhere to live um, in the sense where I stood literally no money, no home, um, like no one to turn to and two children who were at the time, they were 13 and 14. They were pretty young um so yeah so in those moments you can imagine the despair that I was feeling not knowing where to turn I was sleeping on floors on people's floors I was sleeping in a car I was sleeping anywhere I possibly could um I think I'm going to go back a step actually because the first time I was homeless was when my children were 10 and 11 years old and I'm going to start there actually um, and so they were 10 and 11 years old, if you can imagine what that felt like. Um, it was it was beyond belief of what I could ever think could ever happen. But like Melissa said, I was constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop and I was constantly expecting the worst out of life. Although I was a very happy-go-lucky person, I was always smiling. In the inside, I was hurting. I was deeply hurting from being a single parent, quite not understanding where I was going in life, what was happening. Um, I couldn't really grasp things. So I had a situation that came around that presented pure homelessness. Um, and on top of that was the authorities got involved and tried to take my children away from me because they wow. deemed me to be an unfit mother. Mm. Um, they said, we can't keep, you know, unless you find yourself, unless you stabilize yourself, your kids are going to be taken into foster care. They're going to be taken. So that's when I found the law of attraction. And I had to really find every way impossible in me to, to, to find a way to come out of this. Mm. So, it's my, so my daughter spent time with me. My son, I took, a, I took him straight to my mum's house because there was a spare bedroom there that he could stay in. Um, and then in the end, I took my daughter to her other grandmother's house so I could just focus on me and bringing myself over, uh, over what was happening. So this went on for about probably a year. Now, within that year, I had to learn to love myself. I had to learn mm. to not feel the reality of what was happening. Mm. Um, I had to be thankful for being alive, for my breathing, for the fact that my children were blessed enough to have somewhere to go. And although I might have slept in a car, I was thankful I had a car to sleep in. Although mm. I might have slept on people's floors, I was thankful that I had a roof to be able to sleep and a floor to sleep on. Mm. Um, and I continuously continuously was thankful every single day and even when I felt like I couldn't take it anymore I would allow myself to feel the feeling of what that felt like and then I would say right but hang on a sec if I continue to feel like this then I'm not going to be able to get my family back together so what I started doing which was the really fun part now was I started picking up my children from school and I said to them right this is it where are we going to live that was it. We're speaking about where we're going to live. We're not speaking about homeless anymore. We're now mm. abundant. Where are we going to live? So we chose the area we wanted to live in. We chose the type of house we wanted to live in. I even chose to have my own bathroom. Um, <laughs> I went as far as, I was like, well, I'm going to have my own bathroom too. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what I would do was I would start speaking of things as if they had already happened and say, thank you mm. for my home. Thank you for being with my family again. Thank you for my children being at home. Mm. And I would go, if I were to go to see somebody, I would hold a key and I would pretend that I was going into my house. Mm. And every single day after school would sit in that area and would, would imagine what it'd be like to sit indoors. Would even do things like um, role play to say, 
I'd, I'd call my kids' names and go, Alex, Sophia, dinner time, dinner's ready. Oh, I love and we it. We would have fun with it. We would yeah. really have lots of fun. Now, once I got into that mode of doing that, within, I think it was around two to three months, um, I was walking, I was supposed to get on a, I think my, my car must, I don't know what happened to my car that day, but I was walking. And while I was walking, I was on the phone in a very deep conversation and then I just stopped suddenly. I turned to the side and there was a, an estate agent. And in this estate, estate agent, I see there was a, um, a house for rent in exactly the area that I wanted. So I was like, oh, so I popped my head in and I said, oh, I've just seen um, there's a property. So yeah, we've just taken this property on. I said, I'm, I'm you know, I would really like to come and see it went to see the landlord. Anyway, we got on like a house on fire and somehow the money came through for me to put the deposit down. Wow. And that was literally the blessing, the expecting miracles rather than expecting failures. Yeah. Um, and yes. And then before you knew it, we were living in the house that we said we were going to live in, in the area we wanted to live in. And that was from homeless to a home. And wow. the journey was, woo. however, I did not give up. I didn't take my eyes off the prize. I refused to feel down about it towards, you know, after the first probably few months. Mm. And then I turned things around. So that's the power of feeling good and being thankful in the moment, no matter what. I stood with nothing. I yeah. ended up with a job after that. I had a full income, had a roof over our head. I was mm. with my babies again. Yes. And yeah, that, you know. Oh, so, so powerful. So powerful. That's why you cannot not share these stories. Yeah. Uh, wow. You know? So, yeah. yeah that totally was life changing. Wow. So life changing. Congratulations. Thank that is so exciting. Thank you. <laughs> The power of thanking in advance and the power of having fun with it, the energy we bring, you know, when being in that low vibe energy, not feeling good about life, it doesn't feel good. But being in that vibe of feeling good and thanking in advance and believing, believing before you see, so powerful. So powerful. And that's where the power sits, right, Melissa? It's believing yeah. before you can see, because mm -hmm. if you can see in your mind's eye, it's it, it's there. Yeah. And it's just a matter of realizing that actually this is what it is. I'm feeling excited, really excited for it to happen. And you know, it, yeah, this is why this these this is why I so love that we have connected because. Yes you know that we've got stories we've, I've heard your stories and yeah. I'm excited for all of our stories to be told and just continue to just uplift people and help them believe in the power that they have you know yeah that that this power the same power is within each of us to right. think in a new way believe in a new way and expect great things and how powerful that is to come from that place within of believing and shifting to having fun and, you know, enjoying this life experience and how to do that by, by living the teachings, like living them as your way of existing. And, and it's not a job or a chore. It's so exciting and fun. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the, that's the great, it's not a job and it's not a chore. You yeah. actually want to. And even yeah. when we feel down and we get into that, you know, that lower vibrational energy field, you have this realization and you go, oh, okay, actually, I'm okay. I can breathe. Um, I'm here. I'm good. I, I've got food. You know, and it's just that thankfulness, really, continuously being thankful. Yeah, so powerful. So powerful. And over to you, my darling. Yes, yes. Um, so <laughs> 17 years ago, I, I was a hot mess inside my life. You know, I was not experiencing um, a good time in life. Things were not working out for me. 
And I kept asking why, why is all of this happening? Like you said, and you know, there was one night that I stopped and looked around and I saw people talking and laughing together. And I thought, you know, what is it I'm missing? What is it that they know that I don't? And it was shortly after I changed my question and I asked, what can I do to change my life? You know, I went from feeling broken and broken relationships, you know, scraping up change for a cup of coffee. I was also homeless with nowhere to go at one point in my 20s and sleeping on friends' couches. And I was finally at this place after hitting bottom so many times that I was just ready for a better life. I was ready for things to get better. And I had to know what can I do to change my life? And that question changed everything. Um, I went on a journey of self-discovery myself to study well-being at the library and just really took some time to try to find the answer to this question. And that led me to discover the idea and concept of self-love, which I'd never heard of. Um, and what a powerful place to start, right? Like everything is happening through us. We're experiencing this life from within us. So making peace within ourselves and learning to love and embrace ourselves unconditionally with non-judgment and full compassion is such a beautiful place to exist. Um, and as I began to do that, I began to feel better and I began to discover more truths and discover my truths. And then discovering the law of attraction teachings, everything finally made sense. I understood what was happening, why, and what I could do to change it. Instead of being down on myself and having these negative self-talk and negative self-image and self-thoughts, I was beginning to believe in myself and connect with myself and beginning to believe that life could be better. And they say everything begins with a thought, right? Absolutely. It's always a thought first within us. And when we follow these new positive ways of thinking and believing, everything's already possible, but how can you receive if you don't believe? So. I was so excited to practice the teachings and they became my way of existing, my way of experiencing mm -hmm. life. And I felt so good. I went from sleeping 12 to 13 hours a night to six hours a night, excited to get up for the new day. <laughs> like what good things can happen today? <laughs> and literally, yeah. And literally, you know, as I changed my way of thinking and believing and experiencing life within and, and just looking at life through a new lens that, you know, believing that all things are possible, that good things could happen for me and that realization that I deserved good things to happen for me. That was a totally new belief to embrace. And that felt so good, you know? So I was so excited and I would do the same. Like I had desires, I had this whole dream. I had all these dreams of, you know, I dreamed of being a wife and a mother and of having a home and, you know, the whole life and, you know, better relationships and connections. And as I began to apply the teachings, I changed from within and, showed up in a new way in my life and my energy had changed as I was thinking in a new way, I was feeling in a new way. And I began to just put my desire out to the divine and believe, like, I remember the biggest thing I desired was a loving partnership, a loving relationship. And I remember, you know, shifting from a place of feeling lonely and that lack of partnership. I had always been focused on um, being alone and that I didn't have a partner during the time I was single. And there's so many different ways you can experience any situation in life. You could experience, you know, many that are single have a lot of negative thoughts and beliefs that are, you know, weighing them down. And, and I was one that experienced that. But when I shifted to thinking, you know what, the perfect partner for me is out there. And I bet he doesn't live too far from me. And I was 
driving home looking up at the moon and I remember thinking I bet he's looking at the same moon I am right now and that got me really excited to think in that way you know instead of the fear and the doubt and the worry that doesn't feel good like I'm never going to meet someone that's the most common thought single people can have you know and shifting to this place of just believing and imagining him as out there and not that far away so I began to feel so much better and so much more excited to meet him. And I even did thank in advance every time I would think of desiring a partner, I would clap really loud and just say, thank you. Thank you for my new husband. I'm so excited that he's here. And that was so fun. And, you know, and I would just release it and get back to living life and, you know, enjoying the moment, enjoying being single. I remember taking myself out to dinner, a lobster dinner with candlelight, and it was beautiful and going to the movies and just really embracing being single and the experience of having fun and creating my own fun. Um, it was a couple of months after I met my husband and he walked in and I met him in the exact way I had intended. I had already decided what would feel good for me, where I would like to meet him. And it was a couple months and he just showed up. And, you know, now we've been married for 10 years this August and together for 12 years. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's just one story of so many I have of how powerful it is when you're thinking and believing in that new way and open to receiving in that powerful way, you know, and things just align just right. And things just have this way of working out, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And what a story. Like, it's so powerful again. Like you said, you took the time to learn about yourself and and from change from the inside out it wasn't yeah. an outer you wasn't waiting for the outside world to change because you mm. just said something really powerful there um where people say um i'm never going to meet anyone there's over seven and a half billion people on the planet yes, yes. Right? right now there's got to be it, it's a bit in, it, i find it impossible not to meet somebody rather than the possibility of it because you think of how many people that actually is, there's somebody for everybody. It's Absolutely. whether you want to accept that, right? And yes. and I and that's yeah, and I, I've heard so many times, um, I'll be happy when. Right. And that happy when is chasing something, right? Mm. So actually, if we bring that to the present and be happy now. And actually, you know what it feels like. You can feel what the emotion of love feels like because we can feel that emotion right now. Yes. We can feel yeah. what it feels. We know, we know the emotion of fun. We've all had fun in our lives, especially mm. as children, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> we know what it feels like to laugh. We know yeah. and we can bring that now. But if we continuously keep it on an outside yeah. and be happy when then that's when you will not meet somebody. And if you do, they're going to be quite in the same energy field as you. So mm. you won't have a good time. And M Melissa and I both know what that feels like, not to have a good time with our partners. We yeah. also know what it's like to have a good time. Yeah. And, right? Yeah. So you go through both sides of things. And, and it's so true what you're saying. and so powerful. You know, the, the first person to look after and to think about is yourself and people say well that's selfish well if you're not doing it for yourself nobody else is gonna they can't get into your head and think for you they can't jump in your heart and feel for you mm. so that's when we say when I say like be selfishly in love with yourself it's not to be the it's not the wrong selfish it's the selfish of being I want to look after me because by looking after me then I'm looking after everyone around me and not just everyone yeah. around us it's we can reach people globally especially with the internet you know There's, yeah. we can reach so many people and actually um, be an example to what can change in your life um, and 
anything can change and that's a promise from us both it, I, I know I'm speaking for you but I I, I know yeah. that you feel this I feel you so yes you do <laughs> I do so yeah you know it's transcending how things look it's it's not there's been so many situations in my life where if I looked at the situation and reacted to that then things would have turned out different but it's about believing in the possibilities and the abilities and transcending what we see in the physical yeah. and really embracing the idea that all things are possible yeah. and no matter how things look they can shift yeah. and when we shift you know what we're thinking and feeling and believing that can change everything and, and that opens us up to the possibilities that already exist right absolutely absolutely i love that yeah it's, yeah it's brilliant it's brilliant and that's one of the beauties about applying the teachings and living by them too you know i we all go through the life stuff right like we're we're spiritual beings i believe having a human experience and we're still having that physical human experience so you know when things do come up practicing the teachings and having them be part of the way you live helps with moving through situations and transcending what pops up that happens and you know you know that things are always going to work out for you because that is what you live believing <laughs> and that feels and so good that's, and that's the best belief to actually take on board right melissa yeah. it's like even if, you, if there's things you don't believe and there's many things that you struggle with mm. you, like, if it was just to say to yourself things are always working out for me yeah. that one sentence and you say that oops <laughs> over and over and over again <laughs> And let the light shine. Live <laughs> session. <laughs> but yeah, so um on the presentation side, so we were saying what seems to be the problem. So many people do struggle to align with the law of attraction and to get what they want. I mean, we've given you uh we've given you our stories so far. Mm. Um, I mean, we have got lots more to share with you guys, yes. but um, absolutely, right? Uh, yes. But we want to show you ways to help you attract and live the life you want um, and deserve. Like, we've, like the, literally the, the outcome here is to have clarity to why things might not be working in your favor and mm. tips and actions to turn that around for you and yes. to help you align with your dreams and desires. And that's all... That's all we want to just completely emanate out there and uh, and really get across and really help give anything that we've got in us. And obviously, we've only got a short period of time, so we've given three. Um, we'll go on to the first one in a second. Um, three tips, three actions. I'll, I'll, we'll break them down for you. Um, but please do apply everything that we say here um, because it, it helps us both. We have thought about it of what will be the best way forward. So yeah, please do apply. Ready for the next screen. Okay, yeah. And taking self-responsibility, you know, that was so life-changing for me as well. Like to me, it was so empowering because it meant I had choices and the ability to choose and decide. And so really just, you know, sharing that with anyone that joins to watch us here. Um, you know, that you have power to choose and decide what you think and believe and how you're showing up. And to me, that's so empowering, right? To And I think that's what the law of attraction really comes down to, doesn't it, mm -hmm. Melissa? It's yeah. more that, you know, it, it gives you that sense of actually, um, this is it, this is my choice. And yeah. it is up to me what I think. It is up to me what I feel. Mm. It is up to me how I show up. I can show up as an angry person, absolutely. But yeah. I can show up as a loving person too. Mm. Um, and that's a choice. It's completely yeah. a choice. Um, no matter what's going on on the outside, you know, you can, your heart is always there. You're yeah. always open to, you know, feeling whatever it is you choose to feel. Um, so, yeah. 
So where yeah, we've got here, so every thought, belief, and choice are co-creating your life experiences. So yeah, there's this very powerful statement there. Yes, um, they're very powerful because you're right. Every thought, belief, and choice are you know are co-creating your life experiences. Everything that you think, every choice that you make, every action you take is an outcome. There's there's that something manifests from that. So um, you know. If you get in your car and you're angry and you're you getting, you know, you're driving along, you're just like, oh, I can't stand live. You're going to have that energy, that feeling and that uh, going out there it probably lead to something like an accident. You know, something will come on because every action has a consequence. And that's whether it's a good action or a, as when I say good, I mean like a good feeling action or a mm. bad feeling action, whichever one it is, there's going to be something that comes from it. So if you're angry and driving and, and something happens and then you, got, you get out of the car and you blame the other person and that just leads to more struggle in life and more um, downfall, shall we say. Um, but if you go on the other side, you get in your car, you get some nice like affirmations going on and mm. you feel like, Oh, this, you know, I appreciate my car. It's so nice to be able to drive. Thank you for my license. Mm. Thank you for the ability to drive. Or, and you drive along. And the next thing you know, you stop at traffic lights and someone's like, hi. Um, and I'm sure you've experienced this many times. Yes. But, yeah, you're just like, and I, I, you probably had your kids say, mom, do, they, do you know who they are? You're just like, no. Why are they saying hi to you? Why are they smiling? Why are they beeping? And just like, well, because we're smiling and that energy goes out there. So you're so on point what you're saying is how you show up. It is your choice. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about the energy we bring and the, the thoughts and beliefs are actually what are creating our emotions and moods. And being able to be aware of our thoughts and be aware of our beliefs and, you know, I say practice the pause when you're in one of those low feeling moods that don't feel good, you know, and to identify where that's coming from, because the thoughts and the, the thoughts that are going on within us are producing how we're feeling. And that's all producing how we're showing up in our life. And so when we show up, like you say, you know, feeling good, we're putting that good energy out. And that's naturally attracting to us. And you do end up, you know, one day we were in line at Dunkin' Donuts for a coffee and donuts for the kids and somebody paid for our order ahead of us. And, you know, wow. we had, yeah, yeah. And we had Love just that. been like having this good energy session. I was talking, I was doing the vis visualization exercises with my kids as well. And we were imagining, you know, different things for fun and because it feels good. And then we get in line and someone pays for our order. So yeah, things just, Lovely. that energy you put out is so key. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so on, so our tip one is on the thought side of things. So my thoughts by themselves are very powerful. Um, as we were just uh, explaining, they're attracted to you by the law of attraction. So what you think you bring back, uh, where your energy goes, um, it flows and grows. So our emotions also yes. play a big part, massive part in this. And we have an emotional response to our thought. No, actually, I've said, uh, it's actually the other way around. Uh, sorry, it is actually, we have, um, uh, we respond to our emotions. So uh, the other way around of what I've just said. So my apologies. Um, but the trick is to align your thoughts and emotions to be a one and to take action in the good feeling energy side um, is the part that we're kind of pushing towards here. Uh, we can align in a, in a negative way, we can align in a positive way. Uh, each way, it's all alignment. Uh, that's how manifestation continuously happens. So um, it's just being very mindful of yourself, very mindful of what you're thinking. Um, but before I carry on that, because I think I've got some more on the next slide about that. So if you don't mind, Melissa, a little, that's it. So how do we do this? So by becoming conscious and aware of the thoughts you think. Um, I know I haven't said this in the presentation, so I'm just going to quickly say, I think one of the best things how I learn 
to understand my thoughts was to actually stop and think about what am I thinking about mm. because when you have those conversations right all of a sudden you hear yourself having this these thoughts about somebody or uh, something that has nothing to do with nothing in that moment mm -hmm. and it could be something and we're called we're programmed already to think in quite a negative way our thoughts automatically go there so you start having this this scenario takes place and then I used to stop and think hang on those people are not even here there's no one in the room with me yeah <laughs> what's going on <laughs> Mm, yeah so I would stop and I'd say do I really want to think about that and I'd say no what else could I think about what's a better thing to think about so I would just flip it and literally start thinking and consciously think about something else whatever it would be maybe it would be some food because I love food I could eat all day day in day out give me good food and I'm just I'll pop before I stop yeah <laughs> so even if I just flipped it over to some good some good food you know but just become ultra ultra aware of your mm. thoughts and so that powerful. is so helpful right so powerful yeah so powerful and that leads us on to yeah being present it's uh, literally when you're present um you you know, you avoid, you avoid getting into conflicts with yourself even. Yes. You just scroll up a little bit more, just a touch more, just, Melissa, if you don't mind my dialogue. There we go, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. So avoid, yeah, multitasking. Definitely because when you're multitasking, you're literally trying to go from one thing to the other and you, you're not being present. You're lit, mm. your, 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 your energy is being split in too many different ways. But if you can take yourself, be present, be where you are, feel the moment in where you are at. Like, you know, right now, this presentation is taking place and I feel the power of what's happening. I feel like Melissa's here with me. Like, and you probably feel the same. Like, you know, we've never met in person, but we always feel the power in mm -hmm. every moment that we speak. Um, so get in touch with your senses. That's another, you know, like I said, if you feel the, a good delicious taste of a food you yeah. can actually bring that feeling and taste it in your in your taste buds without even eating it and it's making my mouth water because I'm yeah. not, <laughs> food is coming to mind yeah so powerful <laughs> yeah absolutely and um veer away from distractions you know if you're focused on let's say you're building a business let's say that's you know something that's happening and you are really into something and you know you're really on a good flow and then someone calls don't answer in that moment because yeah. it takes you out of your flow right so um, true yeah it's like do what you've got to do don't you know I used to feel bad if I didn't answer my phone or if I didn't get back to someone really quickly mm. I felt like oh, I had to be but actually I've, I'm I'm a writer also you know so when I'm writing I'm in a flow and mm. if I'm being disturbed I could come straight out of that and from this focus of beautiful energy I'm like somebody could call and be like oh I'm having a really bad day it's, oh no <laughs> um and then I've got to fix up my emotion in that in that present time so kind of when you're doing things if you could just stay into that stay into that moment and uh yeah and try and avoid any distractions if you know that there's going to be distractions then prepare yourself for it so you can do everything in your right timing yeah, that's so good. And, you know, having that balance um, brings harmony too. you know, like um, the power of managing our time to bring ourselves balance and harmony, you know, and uh, dedicating certain time for certain things. Yeah, so good. Absolutely. Um, and another way is to meditate daily. Meditation is probably one of the best things you can do for yourself. I hear a lot of, I don't have the time. Um, my answer to that every single time is, we all have the same amount of time. You can ask and wish and do, you could sit until you're blue in the face, wishing for more time. It's not gonna happen. Mm. It's just not, we have 24 hours a day. It's, 
Yeah. It's what it is. It's how you manage your time, like you rightfully said. It's what you choose to do in that time. So yeah. when, when we say we don't have the time to meditate, you make the time to meditate. You get up just 10 minutes earlier. And if you start your day um, in peace, where you can just be at peace with yourself and not have all these mumble jumble thoughts going on, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a process. If you've never meditated before, it is a process. It's not something that's just going to happen. It could take months. It could take weeks. It could take days. It just depends on the type of person, your own belief system, where you're at in your life. Um, so never be hard on yourself because it's all a process. And, you know, I urge you to just go and check it out on YouTube, find some meditation, see what you can do, because it's one of the best ways you can just be at peace and start your day on a higher vibrational level mm. and you'll probably find if you do it for a, a number of uh let's say two weeks solid of meditation um you'll you will see the difference in your life i can just say you will see and you will feel and you'll know the difference in your life um which obviously leads on to working on your breathing which i probably haven't done over the past like 45 minutes of talking <laughs> <laughs> yeah take time to breathe um i do find you know i go out for many walks and when i'm walking i do i, I stop in certain places and, and just take it in and breathe and breathe uh, we forget to breathe actually yeah uh, we yeah do, don't we? we really do forget we to do. breathe so if we can remember to just stop take that time and breathe Mm. And be like we said, be mindful of your thoughts. Um, you can get mindful of your thoughts, then you start to be able to see that your thoughts are not you. Mm -hmm. You're, you're they're, they're not you. They're, they're, mm. You can tell your thoughts to get lost. You can change your thoughts. You can embrace. Yeah. You can tell them I love you. Thoughts. You can. Yeah. It, it's up to you, isn't it? It's, it all comes down to we are seriously in control of ourselves. So. Mm. Yeah. So, so beautifully said, absolutely. Not all of our thoughts serve us and some of them aren't even ours. So many of them, not even no. ours. Not even ours. No. Not, can't even take, we could just, and we're gonna get to that part anyway, I like that part. So, uh, so by getting clear on what you want, um, think of yourself as a giant magnet. So I think I might have done my presentation the wrong way around here, but anyway, getting clear on what you want is very powerful too. Um, so you kind of think to yourself, and I always love this one, as a giant magnet. And uh, <laughs> I remember having visions of myself in a big field as a magnet. I can love doing it. That's awesome. <laughs> in the middle of a field as a big, 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 massive, massive, a magnet and thinking okay what i'm thinking i could just imagine these things like hitting me boom mm. boom boom mm. and uh, that made me wake up i tell you yeah <laughs> made me wake up to what i was thinking so it's a really good way to be really conscious of your thoughts mm. um i think in terms of frequency like you know if you think of a radio station um if you're looking to tune into I'm from the UK, so we've got 100 FM, Kiss FM, and 95.8 FM. So I'm going to go with those two frequencies. Mm. So if we're imagining we're on 95.8 um, FM, and we want to go over to 100 FM. So we've got a nice clear signal on 95.8, and you can hear the music, you hear the narrator speaking, everything's beautiful. And then as you go over to the 100 FM, you start hearing this in frequency mm. like, do, 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 and that's us so when we're focusing if we look at ourselves like a little antennae and we're focusing on one thing then we're actually really pulling that towards us we are that magnet mm. like drawing it drawing it in doesn't matter yeah. what it is it could be anything but that thought it's drawing it to you now if you want to, and when you're clear on what you want and you do that, you can draw it to you very quickly. You probably all had the experience of you thought of somebody um, that you'd like to talk to, and then all of a sudden they call you. Mm. And that's because you didn't have an infrequency of your thoughts. 
It wasn't being swayed by, oh, I don't think that can happen or, um, oh, you know, I probably will never speak to them. It was just a clear thought of, oh, it would be really nice to speak to that person. I've spoken to them for a long time. And that was the hit the target, 95.8, you've got it. Mm. But if you start going over to, mm, I don't think, you know, that can happen or, um, I don't know, whatever it is that, that can throw you off that thought process of just that clarity of somebody can just call you, that's where you're going into the infrequency. And then you start going over to the 100 FM. And once you can lock on again and just get in that purity, you get your radio station back. You get the manifestation in purity. So um, that's why it's so important to get clear. I hope I explained that right. Yeah, you did beautifully, beautifully. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, you, those little thoughts of doubt or fear or, you know, negative mm -hmm. thoughts that that's that static as you're transitioning to tuning in to match the frequency of what you desire. And when we are clear with no resistance, no doubt, it's just expecting, you know, yes. that powerful, yes. it's mine expecting it. And knowing it's on, um, you know, knowing that quiet knowing, I think too, like, I, I know yesterday I thought of um contacting you and in the same second i had that thought you ended up messaging me <laughs> that's the power of being in the frequency it. on the vibe you're tuned in I, tapped I in brilliant. isn't it brilliant because I, I and as i messaged you that you mess like melissa literally messaged back within i don't even think half a second it's just like yeah. i was just I was literally, and I could feel her energy, like, like literally, I was just about to message you. Mm, yeah, so powerful. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, so the clearer we are, the faster we can, we can achieve results. And this is where we're kind of heading to now, because we believe we're aligning, aligning with the law of attraction and shifting experiences. We must clear any energy blocks. Um, and unconscious limiting beliefs that continue to hold us back from taking action. And that's the infrequency we were just talking about, those energy blocks, the, um, the, the doubtful thoughts. Mm. All, so it, this is a shift internally. It's not, like we said, it's not on the outside. It's all about in here, in here, uh, and just aligning your body, spirit, mind with everything. Um, mm. So, yeah, yeah, that's so powerful. And, and what that, you know, looks like um, is it can be depression, it can be anxiety, it can be, you know, to name it, um, some of the ways that can look when you're feeling those energy blocks and you are having those unconscious limiting beliefs. It can feel like fear, it can feel like doubt and dread or, you know, you're focused on um not having or you know so yes to put that yes. in a, an easy perspective um it's about what's happening actually within us which i find so powerful to know like that this can be changed you know shifting within what we're absolutely and um, that so yeah this is yeah, it's exciting. So it is. It is really exciting. And thank you. You just finished this. You just finished that off so beautifully. Um, so thank you for that. Um, because it really is. It's just, you know, then this is what I love. It's just the bouncing off and oh, I love it. So yeah, it's um, so yeah. fun. Life is all about that energy exchange of you know, giving and receiving, and and we get so excited talking about it. I love that too, because it's so yeah. fun. It's so cool, right? <laughs> So cool. So if we're not clear on, if we're, if we're not clear and haven't defined what we want, then you, you will struggle to attract what you want. It just, it's that because the doubt kicks in and that's where really where we're going with this. So everything is a re mirror reflection of your internal thoughts and emotions and energy. So you kind of, um, I always think to myself, okay, what's happening on the outside? Just before we had this, con just before we went live today, we, um, I was saying to Melissa, you know, um, I, I could feel as soon as I feel myself not feeling at my highest level of energy, 
I'm, I'm very, I'm very aware of what's around me because I look at everything. It's a mirror reflection. So mm -hmm. if I go outside and somebody starts shouting and screaming, then I know that there's something in me because it's, it, it's not the other person. It's always internal. It's always from you. What's in mm -hmm. me that I, that I've seen that in the first place? Mm -hmm. Why am I seeing that? Um, and it's adjusting my vibration to a higher frequency to be able to avoid. It's like the universe won't bring you what's not in you. You will only receive mm. what's going on inside you. Yeah. So it, it brings, and, it, and that helped. I mean, I know that helped myself and it probably helped you too. Just have, yeah. knowing that in you is, you know, it, it stops the blame game completely because you go, well, it's not you, it's me. Um, and I know, like, we've probably heard that in relationships. It's not you, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking up with you. It's not you, it's me. Yeah. Um, and we used to be offended, but it's true. Mm. It's not the other person. It's what's happening inside us, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, so if every, everything's a mirror reflection of our internal thoughts, emotions, and energy. And it's like, if you're not clear, if you think of it, it's like getting in a car without a destination where are you going you know you have to have a clear where am I going in my life what's my life about what is my next step and it's not what's happening in 10 years 20 years in, in a year what's happening right now what what would I like to do next how would I like to feel next what is next for what's next for me in my life and I think if you keep asking yourself intelligent questions you'll get intelligent answers if you ask yourself why am I stupid then you're gonna get the universe doesn't know no different it's just energy it's vibration it's picking up on so if you're asking yourself questions like that you're gonna get more things to give you proof and you feel more I don't like that word at all stupid but I've heard I know that I've thought it and that's the reason I'm bringing it up I've said it to myself you're so stupid Anthea. and actually no I'm not um, but you, like you said rightfully earlier on, it's um, we're programmed. It's not even our beliefs. It's, it, it, it comes. It can be from our ancestors. It could be from people around us. It can come from just programmed into our mind. So um, yeah, uh, have a clear destination, and we're going to go straight on to that. Um, yeah, that's so true. You know, it's yeah, right? we absorb so much from all around throughout our lives, even the movies and the shows. And, you know, yeah. so we hear those things and they can stay with us, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so well put. So we're now, so what this is our action. So we wanted to do an action step to each step here. And our action step here is to set a goal for the month. Um, so right this is the exciting part so what is your goal for the month so we want you to you want it to be any goal that you set for the month we want it to be definite we want it to be measurable and want it to be time sensitive so we've said the month so we kind of can give it 30 days um don't you know if we doing this exercise it won't be too hard on yourself if you don't see it happen in 30 days. But you kind of work with that 30-day mark. It doesn't mean that if 30 days passes, it's not going to happen. It just means that it's in the process still. And everything, you know, or anything we've asked for is in the process of becoming and receiving. Um, so, so you want it to be clear. So you want to write your goal down. Um, and you want to know how will you how will you know when you've achieved your goal? What is it? Would it be that there's a car at the end of it? Will it be that you've got sales in your business at the end of it? Will it be that you found love? Would it be whatever whatever it is for yourself? Um, just get very clear on what it is, um, and make it so clear that you can tell someone else and they can repeat it back to you. So that's how you know you've got a very clear goal in mind. When you say it and you tell somebody else and you say, do you mind if you repeat that back to me? And they can repeat that back to you. You know you're on point and you're tuned into the radio station that you want to be tuned into. And uh, that's your desire. So, yeah. I love that. That was so good. So on point. Yeah. Brilliant. 
So thank you. And um, this is how I've, you know, I've just been, this is one of the things that I've been working on myself and I, I love doing it. So um, one of the things is you want to be excited about your goal. You want to be super excited. You want this goal to be important to yourself, maybe to your loved ones, maybe to your career, to your life, to your business. Uh, but you want that, <laughs> you want a goal that makes you jump out of bed. Like literally when you wake up in the morning, yeah. like we were saying, you're so excited. And I know, yeah. like, I know like my, I think we've frozen. Definitely a goal that you are super excited to, to get taking action on. Yeah, awesome. We have frozen. It was one of those goals that you're just excited about. So make your goal so excitable that when you wake up, you might have that initial like, oh, I don't want to get out of bed. And then you go, oh, oh yeah, I want to work on my goal today. So yeah, um, that's really, and I want you to not worry about how for now, because the how, as we say, is the domains of the universe. Once mm -hmm. you set your goal, there will be step by step, you will feel it and take that action as you go along. You won't know that you won't have the full picture to start with. You'll just have something written down and be excited about. And the steps to what you need to do will be shown to you. Day by day, they will come out. Just trust. Trust your instinct and work with it. Um, feel the emotion of what it feels like to have achieved this goal. Like, honestly, feel it. It's already, you've asked for it. It's the second you start, you write it, you put it out there and you're ready to feel, what does it feel like to have achieved it? Like I can say when I published my first book, I was so excited. I, I could see what the book would look like in my hand. And I remember having a blank, you know the same, Melissa, you have a blank screen with nothing on there, just a white kind of screen. And then by the end of it, you've got a fully formed book still only on the computer, at, like on the laptop. However, when you put it into print and you order your first copy, and I never forget going to my door and having the box and actually picking, and I was like, oh my goodness, I had seen it for so long and even creating the book cover, the book cover started off with a blank screen. You know, I sat with a designer and we designed, I told him what was in my mind's eye and he drew it out for me. So I didn't know what the book cover was gonna start, was gonna look like when I first started writing the book. I had no idea. I just had to trust. I had to trust each step and just work with it day by day, day by day. Sometimes I didn't have the inspiration to do something, but most days I did. So just get it really excited, feel what it feels like, and be thankful in advance for it. Um, and yeah, like we said, take action and making it happen. Uh, and if doubt does kick in, next step kicks in now. If anything comes in, this is a clearing. This is something on, the, on our beliefs that we, um, I think, we, I think I've said, put this twice. Yeah, we must clear our energy blocks and unconscious limited beliefs that continue to hold us back from taking the action. So if you feel like you're not taking action, there's definitely a belief, a subconscious belief somewhere that you are probably not aware of. So we have conscious thoughts and we have unconscious thoughts. The unconscious thoughts just uh, are from, like we said, from our teachers, from our parents probably like I believe also our ancestors not everyone will maybe re re resonate with that but I'm a true believer of that um so we're programmed from the second we're born and you know we come to a point where we're fighting our own our own unconscious beliefs and we don't even know we're there so um so the inner critic is the subconscious voice that tells you you can't do it or you're not good enough at doing something so if you feel like you're not taking action there's definitely a limiting belief somewhere there um, it's actually the manifestation of all those limiting beliefs that you have in your system 
um, that need to be dealt with as soon as possible. So I think we're going to have to start going a little bit faster through this, aren't we? Um, so this, so yeah, so is this the reason you might ask why I'm not manifesting what I want? Yes, yes, yes. Because of those unconscious beliefs that you have no idea are even there. Um, so it's not your fault and we can, they can be identified and reprogrammed. Um, however, I, this particular one that I've got here, um, you don't actually need to know what the belief is. And that's why I thought it would be so good to have it to actually present it in this way, because um, there's so many different ways to clear your beliefs. However, this particular one, you don't need to know what it is. Um, you can just, you just, you just know, you know if you haven't, if something's not working in your favor, you know you can do this next thing. So I'll show you now how we can do this. So I don't know if anyone's heard of it, but it's called the Ho'oponopono. Um, and it's really exciting. Um, so the Ho'oponopono is a clearing technique from Hawaii. Um, this works on the inside of you. And all clearing works, all clearing work takes place from the inside. Nothing's on the outside, like we said. Um, we're, and we're dealing with our belief system in particular. So we're clearing our limiting beliefs. This is what exactly what we're going to be doing in this. So it's really important to understand um, as I go through this. So um, it's about taking responsibility for everything that affects your state of being. So it's the art of acceptance, forgiveness, and clearing, clearing of the energies that attract into your life. Um, and when I say taking responsibility, we was just saying earlier on, we have to take responsibility for us for who we are for our thought process and it, and it's not our fault and it really isn't our fault that we've got these subconscious beliefs however we can accept that they're there they're there and we don't have to blame anybody for it it's just that we're, we're there and we've got ways to clear them so again it's just to be thankful that we are in this time um where this actual this is this information is available to us because we go back 20 30 years we would we didn't know this stuff um so the fact that we do know this and we can share this is powerful so the ho'oponopono clear the limiting beliefs that are in your un unconscious subconscious or even conscious whether you know they're there or not How you do yeah, that. and that's so powerful because the the subconscious ones that we're not even aware of, you know, the ability to to clear those so powerful, so powerful, right? And the, mm -hmm. you know, we were saying earlier on just um, being able to use the ho'oponopono for your dog. Um, for I've got I had this stories. We haven't got the time now, but there is stories that I can tell and uh, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm gonna, before I even go into this though, guys, I will urge you to actually get onto YouTube and find out a little bit more about the Ho'oponopono um, because it is powerful. Um, you can get a really good understanding online too. I also, I'm actually, I'm actually um, certified to teach this. I, I actually certified myself at the beginning of this year in January uh, because I, when I heard it, I found it so powerful that I actually wanted to be able to feel that I can teach it. And so I thought the best way is to go through the whole system and certify myself through it. So that's what I've done. Um, so you don't need to specify the belief to clear and unblock it with the Ho'oponopono. And that's what I love about this. But you do need to be able to feel some sort of emotion. Uh, maybe you get frustration, you feel really frustrated that you can't get something done or that you feel some kind of rage or you feel guilt because of whatever the reason is or you feel like dissatisfaction or you're going through some grief or whatever it is that you're feeling, um, the Ho'oponopono will clear you from the inside out. And um, 
I'm just trying to see if I did, I don't think I said the story about, um, I'm going to give a quick little background of where the Ho'oponopono came from, because I don't think I put that in there. So it's uh, somebody called Dr. Hugh Len, who um, is from Hawaii, and he worked in a mental institute. Um, he was called to be there and work there, and he healed an entire ward of patients without even seeing them. And when I say he didn't see them, he didn't work with them side by side. He actually um, would pass them in the corridors. These people were people that were like, had done like been murderers, rapists. They'd, uh, they were completely at the end of life where they had been in turmoil and they had done some really bad, horrible things. And Dr. Hulem was called in to help and he went to their, he went to go and see the board to see each person's name and what they were in for. And while he was looking and seeing what they had gone in for, he was feeling the rage, he was feeling anger, he was feeling disgusted. He was like, who are these people? Like, and then he stopped and realized that he was like, hang on a sec. If everything is inside us, why what's in me that I'm seeing this? Why, why, how come it's in my experience? So I need to clear on myself. It's not about them, it's about me, because this is in my experience as much as it's in their, their experience, it's also in my experience. So he um or he already practiced uh, the whole podopono, but I don't think it was to this extent. However, he started to practice it, and all he kept on doing was saying to himself, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. And that was a continuation that kept on going through him, continuously, continuously. And as he was saying this practice, and he was um, using this, they started to notice that the patients, um, I should go back a step here, the patients were, some of them were had, like tied in, in the white, um, they had to be like on the bed and tied down and, and handcuffed down and because they were crazy. Uh, when I say crazy, they, their, their actions were out of control. So the turnover of staff was continuously, people were leaving every month there was a uh, new staff coming in because people couldn't handle it. Staff just could not handle being in this ward. And as he started doing this within three or four months, these mentally insane patients actually became completely sane and beautiful souled people. They will just become, every part of them was opening up and they just changed completely. So um, like I said, it's definitely worth jumping onto YouTube and maybe listening to Dr. Hugh Len. Um, I don't get paid to say anything about him. I don't, I'm not affiliated with him in any way. I just love his teachings. And um, so, yeah, so the action steps uh, we're going to take here is, so if you're feeling, so if you're feeling the emotion and you're saying to yourself, as you're feeling it, so you really like feel what, if you feel like I don't have enough money, you're feeling really angry and stressed out and why, bring it all in and take a deep breath and just say, understanding yourself and what I'm going to do is because I haven't got it on there and I don't want to be giving you miss any information that's not correct so I've just got it here on my screen so I'm just going to be looking down but you're saying I'm sorry and when you're saying I'm sorry you're recognizing and accepting responsibility for the actions thoughts and emotions that have caused conflict to manifest in your reality so you're basically saying, okay, I'm sorry that this has been brought to my attention. There must be something in me. I had no idea what it was. So I'm sorry that it's been presented to me and I'd like to clear on this. So you then go on to, please forgive me. And when you say, please forgive me, you're saying the words um, said as, as a request to make amends with your higher self, with the universe alike, with the God force, whatever name you want to give it, the divine, you're just literally saying, please forgive me for I, 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 it's unknown, it's in my unconscious, I had no idea this is part of me. Um, 
And then you're saying thank you for the opportunity to show gratitude for your higher self, for, to the divine, um, as well as the universe for allowing your negative thoughts and actions and emotions to be cleared. And this is the powerful part where you're actually clearing it out of your subconscious mind. Um, and you're saying, I love you. Like, I love you for, um, uh, I love you can be emanated out to the universe, the God, the God so the God force, the God, the divine again, whatever name you want to put it um, as a form of gratitude. So when you use these words in this way, you're saying, I love you for allowing me on this earth experience. And I love you for clearing this belief, this unknown, unconscious belief out of me. And as you're doing that, you're literally bringing a, this energy that is a healing energy and heals not just yourself, it heals the people around you. Um, and this can be done, I find myself saying this very often, like most of the day, even if I'm not feeling anything bad, I just kind of have it on repeat. I'm, I'm reprogramming my mind to actually think that way. Um, so I can continuously clear myself so I can show up in the best way, the best version of me. Um, so if I don't have things going on saying, oh, Anthony, you don't look good on camera or, um, oh, who do you think you are talking about this? Or, you know, things that can just bring you down. Um, I don't, that doesn't, I don't actually allow that because I'm constantly clearing that out of me by saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. Um, but like I said, please do go and find out more about it. It is very powerful. Um, but if, you can just get out there and just try it with anything and just see how you feel. So, yeah. I love that. And it feels so beautiful to do. Um, I learned about this through one of Joe Vitale's audiobooks, and he told the story. And I remember just having goosebumps, and I got them again when you're saying it. It's so, so beautiful to experience. Yeah. And so powerful to clear and cleanse, yeah. Yeah, and it really is. And and that's what, you know, this is what, I'm, this is what we were saying, you know, the fact that we've both been, we've both read the Joe Bites House stuff, we've both come across it and we've both practised it. And, uh, you know, you there isn't, uh, how can I say, um, the more we're focused on it, the more we're able to meet more people that are in that field, in that space of energy that is on the clearing. And if we can clear us, then we're actually helping the whole world, you know, because we're not specifically for each person, it's clearing us so we can show up for the best version of us at all times, right? So yeah, believe in yourself, know your worth, keep going and live your dreams. Never give up. It's always light. And uh, Melissa, I'm going to please take it away on receiving. I love that. Um, I just got to scroll back because I just got like that feel good, feel good, feel good right now. Believe in yourself. You know, when you show up to believe in yourself, you show up empowered in your life. And, and you can feel that all things are possible. You can feel it. And our feeling part of our being plays such a vital role in our experience of this life. So being able to tune in within and, you know, become aware of what we're thinking and intentionally choose and intentionally take some time to get to know yourself and love yourself and know your worth. You show up so empowered when you do. And um, you can go on to live your dreams and do things you never imagined you'd be doing. Like, Absolutely. you know, the inspiration comes, the opportunities, the connections, the people, the places, it all aligns and it's so magical. It feels so magical, you know? And there we are. Yes, and here we are, yeah. And I love it, it's so fun. Um, so it's... Um, I've got a little bit of a move this here. Okay, it's time to align your thoughts and emotions and create. Open up to welcome in with ease and flow, feeling good. 
open up with ease and flow to feeling good when we're tuned in to gratitude and love those are the highest frequencies you can tune into feeling nothing feels better right like everything we desire is because it will feel good and we can feel that way now by feeling that deep well of love within and feeling gratitude for all that's good now and celebrating ex, you know knowing and expecting all the good that's on the way as well um you have asked and learned to clear out the um unconscious beliefs so um you know the beliefs that have been standing in the way and releasing um releasing and letting go and clearing and cleansing out all that old um a really really powerful way to visualize it is picture your old cabinets in the kitchen and you want new ones you're not going to take the new cabinets and slap them on top of the old, you're gonna rip those old cabinets out and put those gorgeous new cabinets in. So you wanna release all that stuff and let it go. And when, um, when you're opening up to receive, you've made space, you're open, you're open to ease and flow, you're feeling good, you're celebrating life now, and you're just embracing the moment, you're standing in love for yourself and life. And, you put your request in, you're believing, you know it's on the way, you've released it with patience. And, you know, I've put requests in. I remember one night I was walking the dog and I looked up and it was a big, beautiful full moon and there was something I was desiring and um, the next steps forward. And I said, you know, I don't know what those next steps forward are, but I'm just gonna thank you divine for making the path clear and the steps will appear. And I ask you to make it happen in the quickest and easiest way possible. And I released it and let it go. And I got back to just focused on walking the dog, talking to him as we were walking and enjoying the beautiful night sky. And it was so beautiful. And, you know, just feeling the appreciation of that moment. And by the time I got home, I had received a message from someone on my um, email for my next steps forward. It was a 20 minute walk of the dog. And I came home to divine, you know, answer. <laughs> Quickest and easiest way possible. Like, yeah. I love it. I do. Like, this is why we get so excited to share, right? Because it's so amazing when you, this is your way of life. Like, I just know that I can think it and believe and receive. I know that when I've made up my mind that there's something I desire, that anything is possible and it can be mine. And that is true for everyone. Everyone has this power within to get clear on what you desire, to ask, believe, and open up your spirit and make space in your life to be able to receive your desires, which is so powerful. So opening up to being in the receiving mode and you know the allowing mode as well, because so much is happening through us. And sometimes it's the inspiration that comes through us or the opportunities that are presented and being open and uh, present to recognize those amazing opportunities when they come. Sometimes I just follow a spirit nudge. Like it's just this, I feel it in my spirit, like, no, I really need to talk to her. She sent me a message. I need to connect with her. And, and I don't know the outcome, but I just trust. I trust that feeling. And it always leads to something amazing. So always. yeah, being open to receive and making space for it um, and knowing that it's on the way. Like when I put my request in now, I know, I just know. And so I let it go and just go back to walking the dog and the answer comes. <laughs> It's lovely, huh? It's lovely. I love it. It's so amazing. And um, implementing new and empowering thoughts and affirmations, supporting and aligning with what you want. I listen to affirmations daily. I say them often in my spirit. Um, sometimes when I'm driving in the car, I might say them out loud just by myself. <laughs> Every wow. night I do affirmations with the kids. We say them before bed. That's part of our bedtime routine. 
um, and daily guided meditations as well. That that being able to get into that ease and flow and feeling good now, that's like my two favorite ways to get into that ease and flow and feeling good now. Um, to aligning our spirit energetically to be able to receive and open to allowing the flow of all good through feeling good. And, and I think if I just jump in there just to say that was very um what you're saying with the affirmations, like affirmations are super powerful when you feel good when you're saying them. Because yeah. we can say affirmations and if we don't believe it, yeah, yeah. not that you, if you don't if you don't feel good while you're saying it, you're contradicting yourself. It's it's the energy. Remember, we're saying it's energy that you're feeling. It's not so much the words that are being said. It's more if you like if you put your hand like I, I'm in the room I'm in right now. I can actually hear. I can feel as I'm speaking my vibration coming out of me. I can feel that energy. So that's why you know when you want to if you're getting into that mode. The best time is when you put that music on and you've got the best yeah. songs come on and it's like your power song where you're just like, yes, yes, yes. And you can dance away to it. And that's the time to really implement your, your affirmations because that's when you anchor them in you. And you read, right? And you can yeah, really it. yeah. It's so, yeah. that's so key is the energy you do it with. Like if it and i think this you know it's that's key for everything is owning the energy we bring to whatever we do and say and yeah. there's power in the written and spoken word and there's the power is the energy we bring to whatever we say and do so when i'm saying the affirmations i look at them as powerfully declaring this is my now reality powerfully <laughs> stating in the positive present tense i am welcoming this as my now reality i open up to receive this and declare it and proclaim it as my now reality whatever it is i'm desiring to you know whether it's the i am affirmations are so powerful right it's declaring i am so it's it's flipping the script on the negative self-talk, the doubt, the fear, the worry, the low self-esteem, flipping the script and it's saying, no, I am worthy and deserving of all good, or um, I can do it, is when fear comes up, I flip the script and I use the affirmation of, no, I can do it. I can do all things, right? So you feel your energy change, don't you? Yes. You actually feel yes. that. It's, it's, it's a very deep feeling to say mm. that oh, when you say I can't do something you feel that you can actually feel and hear the vibration drop and when you go oh yeah. I can do something it naturally lifts that vibration mm. so yeah it's so powerful that I am like you said and you're declaring out there you're you're really putting it out and I think where I'm sitting right now, I can really, this is the first time I'm really feeling it like this, actually. <laughs> I can really, it's like everything echoing in me. I can feel so powerfully right now. Mm. And it's probably because of the conversation we're having too. Um, but yeah, I love what you've just said about receiving it. And it, it, it's beautiful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh, I, love it. I know it's so beautiful the energy exchange of giving and receiving and you know we're meant to connect with others on this journey and and we were put here on this earth with power within us and meant to connect with others to you know experience this energy and it feels so good right and so fun to share with everyone the power you have through the power of what you're thinking and what you're feeling about you know and and how you're showing up in life and when i show up to do anything if i'm believing i can do it i notice i do it and i accomplish it and you know and all of a sudden it seems easier because i'm thinking in a new way but if i'm struggling with something and, and letting fear and doubt take over then i'm probably going to struggle with it a really long time but once I release it and flip the script, it's amazing how things can turn around. And that applies to anything really that 
you know, anyone is dealing with. It is. And just, I think this is what we're doing right here is a perfect scenario of believing that we could do something mm. um, because yeah. we've never, this is our first time yeah. actually presenting yeah. together. So, yeah. you know, did we know we could pull this off? As in, yeah. not like that, you know, we just trusted ourselves. Yeah. Yes, we had a presentation, um, but most of it has been free flow from what we just feel and what we're speaking. So, mm -hmm. but had we not believed that we could do this. So true. Um, yeah, we could, it could have been like a completely different experience, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what's happening right here, right now is a perfect example to show you can be, do or have anything. Whatever yeah. you choose can be. Um, and the, the divine, the inspiration will bring you together like myself and Melissa here. We didn't know each other uh, six months ago. We didn't. We didn't know each other. Mm. Um, I'd I'd been part of the group. Um, I'd put stuff in the group every so often, um, mm. but we didn't know who. We didn't actually have a full on conversation. And look, in between that time, we followed our inspiration. We replied to each other because it felt good to reply to each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we decided. You know, how many people do you really? I mean, I could. I know for myself, there's not many people that I actually um, connect with online, and and actually, uh, I'm well. Oh, I've never done this before with anybody yeah. online. Yeah. So you know, this just shows in where we're at and how connected because mm. we were so clear on what we both wanted. We had a clear intention and actually we could actually put this back into like um, if you're looking for a relationship where you said someone, you know, you'd ask for somebody to come along mm -hmm. in friendship or in friendship wise, yeah. um, something you can share. I'd ask for exactly the same thing. We didn't doubt it. We didn't say, oh, that was never going to happen right. or, you know, I'm never going to find anyone like that. We mm -hmm. just we pure with purity we put that intention out there not knowing nothing about each other and we just followed each step that came along and we just and it started to unfold and unfold and unfold <laughs> and here we are today and this is whew, it is so powerful to, yeah yeah I'm sorry I just I feel is like so much power that it makes you want to cry like I know it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and it just happens naturally and organically with ease and flow and just like a, a flower blooming it blossoms and I believe that's our natural intended state to to blossom and bloom with ease and, and grace living this life and just opening up to, you know, soak in the sun and welcome in the good and celebrate and dance and laugh and have fun and connect and have a good time. And, you know, everything, everything, everything you desire is possible. Everything. Everything. It's all everything. possible. All of it. All of it. I don't care what it is. You want your own own island if you yeah, want. Yeah. You know, whatever it is. I don't care what it is. Yeah. There's nothing impossible. You can think mm. it, you can receive it. It's as mm. straightforward as that. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that was so good. So good. So good. So where are we at? Where are we at? We are renewing your mind and embracing new thought patterns that support you, will empower you to live a life you love. And isn't that the truth? When we show up in our thoughts in a new empowered way and a new positive mindset and, you know, focused on how we want to feel and thoughts that feel good. You can open up to live a life you love starting right now. Like I, yeah, like when I'm doing the laundry, I say, thank you for my people. I, I you know, I, I could have a different attitude about doing laundry, right? There's like six yeah. loads or seven loads a week. But instead, as I'm putting it in, I say, thank you. As I take it out and put it in the dryer, I say, thank you. And I love and bless that we have a washer and dryer and you know so it's all about the energy we're showing up with and what we're choosing to focus on and 
appreciation and gratitude and loving our people and loving our connections and loving the beautiful little synchronicities that happen and the things that align and just you know work out and um having that mindset to expect great things right Expecting like, miracles. yeah <laughs> definitely expecting great things yeah so I think you've just gone for all of this to focus on. Uh -huh, did I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're so yeah. simpatico, like we're so in sync. You so in sync, because you couldn't actually see that, could you? And you and I didn't, I couldn't see it. <laughs> no, I love that. And yeah. literally. <laughs> yeah. So I think Melissa just told us the tips there, completely on point, completely, that's what it means, complete free flow. Uh, there was no script behind any of that, you know, and yeah. none of this has been scripted. We're just speaking from our hearts and yeah. uh, following a process as such so we don't come off track and we can literally just be on point to what we're giving you. And, um, yeah, so, it, it, yeah. It and I have to yeah. say, what a beautiful job you did putting this together. So, oh, so you. amazing and beautiful. Yeah. and. And so such a confirmation of how on point, you know, the points are that it just naturally flows out of us. And this is all put together from the natural life experiences and all that we have learned about becoming our abundant self and living our best life and showing up empowered in our lives to see our dreams come true right yes. and yes. that the yes. knowledge that that's possible for everyone yes. is so for exciting everyone. to share you know yes for everyone there's not well, i think when we first spoke we were saying you know there nobody was injected with superpower or yes. wealth or or super power of poor being poor or like less mm. power or you know we weren't injected with these things yes we did have injections as kids and that's a whole different story yeah. however <laughs> um there you know we have that power in us to make that decision and feel good and be thankful being thankful is so easy isn't it just to say thank you yeah yeah just to say thank you because everything's alive our water's alive our phones are alive our mm. life everything is energy so it's just an abundance of energy that we could be thankful for. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. But to feel it, to feel that thank you feels so good, right? To really feel that appreciation. And, you know, like you said earlier, like how often do we stop to just breathe and, and appreciate that breathing and yeah just slowing down and really feeling life in our body and you know our heart beating in our chest and how often do we really feel the appreciation for that you know the the power of that like we're here now existing right. yeah right here right now we're here alive mm. and like you said feel just feel it because that feeling is it's what is the feeling you're reaching for for when you want mm. something because you think yeah. you're going to be happy when you get something but it wasn't the actual the the solidness of what it was you were looking for it was the feeling and if you can feel the feeling now and be thankful for it right now then yeah. that has to manifest in your life because it's not missing right melissa it's not right. missing it's already right. here. it's here and now it's a feeling when you yeah. go when you buy a new car and you get like if you get into an like I love fast cars. I'm crazy. Me too. About, yeah. So yeah, we didn't know this about each other. We? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. See another synchronicity. Yeah. Fast cars are the way forward. I love them. Yeah. Um, it's the feeling of the fast car. When I'm when you're in the car, you don't know what the outside looks like. You can't mm. see the outside of the car. Right. to say oh my the outside of my car is very pretty it's the fact of what it feels like and when you put your foot down on that accelerator that that accelerating feeling and you can feel that and be thankful that you can feel that without even having the tangible thing in front of you right so, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And that's all already within us. That's why it's so beautiful. The idea of becoming abundantly you, everything that you seek is already within that deep well of, of love is infinite. That joy and abundance already within us when we go within and you know mind body and spirit become connected in harmony and get in tune with the power of our ability to choose and decide in our life taking that self-responsibility to to own our power to love ourselves and love others and feel gratitude and love and all good flows through us and to us from that place, right? What a beautiful, love, that's the wow. place to exist from. <laughs> I love that, Melissa. I love yeah. that. It flows to us and through us. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And Doesn't that feel so good? <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I love it. And that brings us to tip three in receive, making yourself available and connected within your being. So on point, I hadn't um, even read that yet, but so on point, like connected within mind, body, and spirit in our being and opening up to the allowing and the flowing of love and gratitude and giving and receiving and it's just ease and flow. There's such a beautiful rhythm just in those those segments, right? Like, absolutely. And anyone can exist from that place. Anyone has absolutely. the power already to exist from that place. Um, making space for the car in your driveway um, when you want to open up to receive whatever it is you desire. Such great tips for. And I actually did these tips to receive the car, to receive the partner, moving the clothes to one side of the dresser drawer. When you're desiring a partner, sleep on one side of the bed, move the clothes and make space in the drawer, make space in the bed, make space in the driveway for the car or the partner's car that you're desiring. You know, these are all fun things to signal to the divine and, you know, to say, physically say i have space for this i'm ready to receive you know um and another powerful one is keeping money on the dresser or in your pocket to have the feeling of having money um i have a money screensaver i had money always on the dresser always in my purse to really have that feeling of always having money and feeling the abundance all around you in a visual of it and every time you see it, the idea is also, you know, loving and blessing that and celebrating, celebrating that feeling of having it and it's all around you. And that helps you to be in that vibe and that spirit of, you know, of feeling and receiving and having it now, which is so good. We love it. We love yeah. It. Why don't you take this one away? Right. So, well, I think we've said already, thank you in advance yeah. for the abundance of, uh, of it. It, 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 it is next level of faith. It really is yeah. because you just, you know, you're thankful. Just being thankful before you receive it is, you're saying out there already, look, I've, it's done. I've asked, I received, and there's no disbelief there. You're mm. not frequencies on the right frequency. We're, we're on the right track. Um, rather than having the other side of things, um, you know, once you get into the flow, it said it flows through you and, mm. and to you and through you, and you can, you can really get into this dance where life just becomes um, just really just ease and flow. Mm. And I'm not saying there's never going to be any bumps in the road because sure. there will always be something or there'll be something. But what happens is you don't you don't see it the same way as you used to see it. It's no mm. longer a problem. It's just like a little bump. It's a little mm. challenge that you know that you can just you know you focus on what you want from it because you've got two ends of the sticks: what you want and what you don't want. Now, when you experience what you don't want, automatically you know what you do want. So mm. it's up to you to just say, okay, this has happened. I didn't really enjoy that experience. I just had something come to my mind, actually. It's like going to a buffet. 
and yeah. all this different food there, right? <laughs> Lots of different food. And you pick something kind of, oh, oh, oh dear, I didn't like that. Mm. Um, so then you go to something else. And when you yeah. go back, if you went back to the same place, you wouldn't pick up the same thing and try it again because you didn't like it. So you don't mm. focus on that. You start thinking all the strawberries and cream and all the, all the delicious things. That thing won't come to your mind because it wasn't what you wanted. You found out in that moment, it's not what I want. And you mm. went to something that you could want and you did want. So it's always looking at something because two ends of the stick, really. Yeah. Um, and then flip it over and focus on what you do want and be thankful for it before it even comes on board, before you can see it. And I think this is where the power sits is that feeling that like Melissa said earlier on, I think I mentioned earlier on, really get into that feeling of mm. receiving, of having it already. Thank you, thank you for it. it you know, it feels, you, be, you begin to be able to feel, you feel like you're driving, you feel like you've got your partner, mm. you feel like you have these things and there is nothing better than that. So the action steps behind this one that we'd like to put into place, right? So every day, spend at least five minutes writing down what you're grateful for and write it in present tense. I, I haven't written it on here, but it, we can say, I am so happy and grateful now. Mm. Um, bring it to the present moment. Like we said, feel what it feels like. You're happy that you have it now because you do have it. As soon as you have the emotion of it, you're feeling what it feels like. Therefore, you've received it and the outer side will be shown to you. So just spend five minutes a day. Um, and I don't want to hear, I don't have the time because like we said, we all have the same amount of time. <laughs> so it's just, um, it's a matter of just making that space anytime that you can throughout your day. Grab your iPhone or your smartphone, whatever it is, um, and just just if you haven't got time, if you find that you, you know, your your day is that busy, then speak it, speak it, think it in your mind. Um, I say write it down because actually when you write something down, you have this, this different connection between it. You feel it at another level because you're actually writing it. So you're seeing what yourself, what you're saying. Um, and that's how I why I like to write down because I have a I seem to have a different connection when I'm writing to paper. It's even different to writing on the laptop, um, typing on the laptop, actually. Um, I've got, I, I mean, I can show you just here, like there's one of the notebooks. There's another notebook behind me there, another notebook behind there. I have them everywhere because I just, I love it. So if you can sit down every day and just um, start thanking in advance, being grateful uh, and thankful and appreciative, whichever word you want to use, whatever feels good to you. Um, I love the word appreciation. That feels really powerful to me I'm grateful just as powerful um, and thankful so whichever one feels good to you um, but if you can spend that time um, it's a powerful powerful practice um, so feel what it feels like to receive the money you want the relationship you want the job you want the house you want whatever it is you want just feel what it feels like and I promise you, it will come around. And if you're struggling with anything, we are online. You can reach out to us. Um, we are going to actually offer a free download after this, which is um, titled Thought Process and the Law of Attraction. Uh, we'll put the links in, uh, I think we'll be putting the links in the Facebook group, would it be? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Um, and... Yeah, so we'll have, um, now just, you know what, because we just flipped over from the presentation, I was like, Ooh, what happened? <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be putting links for the, um, for the free download. We also have a um, this course that we spoke about earlier on, Reset Your Mindset, the five-day online course, very powerful. Um, we've got, a, we've, we're doing it for just $19.99 as in dollars. Uh, which I think works at about 14 pound in English pound. And I think it's 17 euros. Um, so there's the three currencies that I'm currently aware of. So we've got 14 pound, 17 pound and 19.99, which works out, let's say $20. Um, and we will also put the link for that in there. 
I know Melissa's got a couple of goodies as well that she's going to put links in to be able to, for, was it for affirmations, if I remember right? Yes. Yeah. 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 And um, I just want to say it's been an absolute blessing to be with you today, Melissa, and be able to present what we've just presented. I feel on top of the world. I probably won't sleep tonight because it's the next <laughs> clock at night and I'm so high that I'll probably be awake going, woo! <laughs> Yes, that felt so beautiful and so good. And Absolutely. I must thank you as well. What a beautiful um, presentation and always a beautiful energy to, to exchange with you. And so blessed to bring this to everyone, to you know, encourage everyone to show up empowered in their life and, and to be able to share steps to achieve that actual steps that are achievable to achieve shifting in your life as well as within for your experience of this life so powerful and this is one of many sessions we'll be bringing <laughs> this is the beautiful beginning <laughs> this is the beginning this absolutely is the beginning of a beautiful journey an online journey yes um, yes absolutely <laughs> yeah what yeah. a gift and a blessing to be able to connect from massachusetts in the united states to where are you yeah i mean how beautifully um this has just come together and what a gift that we can do this and offer so much um, support and encouragement to everyone out here that's you know looking for answers and desiring to change their life you can live a life you love and love the life you live and that can start right now <laughs> right now honestly honestly yeah. And uh, again, I just want to say thank you, Melissa. Like honestly, and just like you know, like Melissa just pointed out, we're completely different ends of the world. I think we've got seven hours difference within us uh, from time zone, and we always we always make it work because it's our calling. It's what we're here to do. It's what we want to share. We've been we've had these experiences. We're awakening. And we have awakened to our inner power. And there was a time where we were both asleep and we didn't know this and we lived a life of despair. And now we've had this amazing shift and it doesn't matter how old you are. I don't, it does not matter if you're 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I, it doesn't, I don't care what age you are. You can change from inside and change the, your life on the outside if that's what you want for yourself. I want that for you. I know Melissa wants that for you. And, I, and like we said, we're at the beginning of a beautiful journey here that we're going to be showing up. Um, we'll be putting dates um, into the groups. Um, I, I probably think there's probably go on YouTube also. So we'll put any links if we're watching, if you're watching on YouTube, we'll put any links below. So please, as we say, click the link below. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Me too. I love that. That's so fun. Yeah, and it feels so good to connect with everyone across all the different platforms. So if you've spent this time with us, thank you for hanging out with us. And, you know, we're so blessed to be here and um, definitely stay tuned for more if you're loving the energy here. <laughs> And yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, uh, you made a very good point. Thank you to the audience. Thank you to anyone who's spent the time and taken time out of your life to hear us, to listen, to take on board anything we're saying. Like, we really appreciate it and from both of us, both of our hearts. Like, yeah. really, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think yeah, much out. love, many yeah. blessings to everyone ah, out here. To and, everybody. Uh, make sure you get the free gifts we'll be popping in the comments and the links and we look forward to chatting again soon much love <laughs> much love to